All right, class is in session. Today, short and sweet, get it, sweet. We're gonna write a probability statement. I'm gonna teach you the right way to do that. Not much to it, but it does need to be taught. So first I'm gonna eat these things. Mmm, okay. It's rude to chew and make a video at the same time. Okay, to write a probability statement, what you do is you start with the capital P. I bet you already guessed what that stands for, and you're right. Then you have parentheses. So in this case, we've got probability that this will be an awesome video is, that's the equal sign. Then we're going to create a fraction And we have uh, on top total number of desired outcomes. Don't worry, we'll get to the vocab here in a second. Over total possible outcomes. Now, even though this is just a silly example, we know this will be an awesome video, but uh, this this gets across everything you need to know to write a real probability statement. Okay? So, on top of the fraction is the thing you're looking for, which is generally related to that over there on the left side of the equal sign. And on the bottom is the uh, total number of possible outcomes. Assuming I would make a million videos, uh, this might be the best one. Chances are one out of a million. Let's find out for sure, though. Because as you know, making a prediction like this is simply theoretical probability. It's your guess. When the video is done, we can analyze the results and see if your prediction was correct. That's called experimental. The observed outcome is experimental. Okay, but that's a separate issue. Here we go, after I finish spelling this word the right way. Okay, so one thing that's fun to do in writing probability statements is to use a deck of cards. Probability statement. <clears throat> so, just in case you didn't know this, in a standard deck of cards, like this one, there are 52 cards. And split up there, we've got hearts, these things which are called clubs, we've got diamonds, and what's left? Um, Spades, they kind of look like an upside down heart. Okay, and there's 13 of each. Those are the subsets of a deck of cards. Okay, and within each one of those, we've got subsets also. We've got two, three, four, five, etc. So we've got all those different types of cards. Anyway, I'm going to write a probability statement. Because I want a 5. <clears throat> so we uh, identify what we want. Probability of a 5 is how many 5s, how many of my desired outcomes are there in a deck of cards? How many? Well, in each suit, hearts, clubs, diamonds, and spades, there is a five contained in each one of those four groups. So there's actually four of those. And the total number of outcomes is 52, as we already talked about. So the probability statement for me wanting a five would look like this. Probability of a five is four 
out of 52. Okay, now if you wanted to, you could simplify this to 1 out of 13. But really, this is the true statement here, because there are actually 52 unique outcomes here. So once you simplify it, now you're doing math. This is truly the probability statement, because it's got all the outcomes and all the desired outcomes. Okay, 1 13th is just a simplified version of that. It's not actually the probability. Does that make sense? I don't know. There we go. So that's theoretical. Now we're going to perform the experiment. I have this deck of cards, which I just spent 23 minutes shuffling. It shuffled so well. And we're going to take the first card off the top. Dun, dun, dun. Are you nervous? Oh, it's a jack. I got a jack. Oh, no. Frowny face. And my red pen is also about to die. So that's a frowny face, too. Oh, I'm going to have to deal with just blue and black, like a bruise. I got a jack. So the probability of getting a 5 here did not happen, and I performed the experiment one time. See how the experimental is different than the theoretical. I only performed the experiment one time, and now I'm 0 for 1. That's my observed. That's what happened. I can tell what happened. I have proof, physical evidence of that. Okay? It didn't happen. This means no 5. And this means I looked at one card. Okay, so it changes. It's not 52 down here because I didn't turn 52 cards over. Just one. So much different what you think versus what you observe. Now, let's, let's go through this cycle again. Let's say I still want a 5. And I'm going to write a probability statement. That's the point of this lesson, by the way, is writing the statement. We're not going to do anything else. Okay, so same thing. Probability of a 5 is there's still four of them in there, right? Because I did not get one. How many cards are left in the deck now? Four out of 51. Because the jack here, I'm not going to put it back. Jack is not back. Okay, so that's my theory. That's my new theory. Now we perform the experiment. I promise I do not tamper with the cards in any way. Bam. It's called product placement. Product placement. I wish I was getting some money from Coca-Cola for this. Drink Coke. Mmm. Okay, flip it over. Ah, it's a queen. I got a queen that time. So, theoretical is here. Performed the experiment, which was flipping a card in this instance. That's called the event. And what happened? Probability of a five, zero. How many cards have I flipped over now? Two. I have flipped over two cards, a jack and a queen. The zero means no fives yet. And the two means that I flipped two cards. Hopefully you get the idea here. I would recommend practicing with dice, with coins, anything you want, right? You can do silly ones. You can do actual experiments like I'm doing here with the cards. But the key thing to learn out of all of this is simply this, that a probability statement is probability of your desired outcome, the thing you want, is how many desired outcomes, right? In this case, there was four fives in the deck. So it's not always one out of something. The number of desired outcomes 
over the number of total outcomes for that event. In this case, the event was flipping a card. Whew. That's it. I can't think of anything else to do here. Practice it. Write a whole bunch of them. Get used to it. Get used to how they look. And uh, I'll see you back here later. All right. Thanks for watching.